All right, I'm not going to sing the song for you, but bear territory seems to be fitting no matter where Cal and Justin Wilcox's team actually plays their games. Perfect through two weeks, and in week number three, Idaho State is the opponent. You'll be able to watch it 3 p.m. Pacific on Pac-12 Bay Area. Mike Ammon, Curtis Conway with you. Explain to me what the heck is going on with this quarterback situation. Well, I'll tell you what. I mean, they haven't solidified who the guy is. Yeah. Obviously, with two wins and two different quarterbacks starting, yeah. like, that's a good problem to have. And so when you're moving forward, the, the problem is, is, you know, when you have guys competing in game situations, they start to force the issue. And that's what you hope these guys don't do. Stay comfortable back there, do what you're supposed to do, and don't try to force the issue because that can turn into some issues. Yeah, Ross Bauer starting in week one, Chase Garbers in week two. We saw McElwain actually coming in in relief in both of those particular matchups. And for Garbers, it was actually his first career start. Defensively, they've made some strides. What's impressed you about this Bears defense? Well, number one, the turnover. Oh, yeah. You know, when you turn the ball over, or when you get turnovers, gives your offense more opportunities to score. You know, Mike, I've always said this, defense wins championships. <laughs> I know we always focus on the quarterbacks, but when your defense is solid, it gives yourself a chance to win ball games. So far, Cal is doing that. Yeah, four interceptions in week number one, three turnovers forced in week number two. Idaho State, the week three opponent. We'll see how many turnovers that Bears defense can come up with at 3 p.m. Pacific Pac-12 Bay Area.